Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and insights from the football world. I was so optimistic, I was so buoyant and I was so full of confidence when India is about to play a set of practice matches against teams like ATK Mohun Bagan and the All-Stars of the I-League. This is in preparation, obviously, to the AFC Asian Cup qualifiers, which will be held in Kolkata in June. And what a perfect way to ideally prepare for the qualifiers. Yes, there are some oppositions which are lesser ranked than India in comparison. And I was expecting a really good outing for the national team. The Blue Tigers, whenever the chips are down, whenever the team is looking for some kind of confidence, they always find a way to get confidence. However, they were facing ATK Mohun Bagan. This is an ISL team which is very well drilled and tactically very very adept under Juan Ferrando and they had a lot of foreign players in David Williams and Johnny Kauko fielding the team. And I was expecting Igor match to be really upbeat and confident, really prepared for this match, having seen how ATK Mohun Bagan had played in the recently concluded ISL. I think Igor match must have watched a lot of matches and I'm sure he must know how Juan Ferrando likes to set up his team. And what did I see in this match? Yes, there was Sunil Chetri playing the 37-year-old who is coming after a long-time injury. He was fit to return to action. He was playing with players like Akash Mishra on the left-hand side. You had some very young players as well. VP Suher started up top and I was looking forward to some kind of smooth pattern of play and I expected India to take the game to ATK Mohan Bagan. However, this is Igor's team match. This is typical Igor's team match. He will you know, go with one particular formation and whenever you are looking for some kind of positivity, he lets you down. And in the first half, this is exactly what happened. Sunil Chetri got the early strike. However, within a span of seven minutes, Indian national team capitulated. And guess what? The youngsters of ATK Mohan Bagan, Liston Kolaso and Kian Nasiri were on the score sheet. And this is not a big surprise. These two players are going to be in the national team. I am telling you, Kian Nasiri is an exceptional talent and we have seen what he has done in the Kolkata Derby in the ISL. He scored a hat-trick coming off the bench and that put him into the limelight. And this is where I feel that Igor Stimas sometimes is not proactive enough. He will have a very strong looking squad on paper. The starting 11 looks quite decent as well. And only thing was in the back line, Pritam Kotal and Sandesh Jingan were playing for the opposite side. They were not playing for the Blue Tigers because they have that kind of loyalty towards the Mariners. And I felt that, you know, Igor Stimach missed a trick, especially in the second half. After going 2-1 behind, he was only trying to, you know, stick to the same kind of playing pattern and not, you know, driving men forward. Because if you want to take the game to the opposition, you need to drive more players forward. They need to go out of their positions, take that extra gamble and it can pay off. Yes, you have to take risks. That is how you win football matches. If you don't gamble, if you don't look to, you know, force it upon the opposition, you will always struggle to find the back of the net. And after it was 2-1, we all know how ATK Mohun Bagan like to set up. They'll have two banks of four and they will field the entire opposition. They'll be shielding the back line and the playing structure of ATK Mohun Bagan is very well suited, especially after they have taken the lead. And Juan Ferrando has instilled that kind of defensive solidarity in this team. This is what I like about foreign coaches like Juan Ferrando. They have seen the strengths and weaknesses of all the Indian players especially and they will utilize the strengths to perfection. And I was quite impressed even by the foreign players. Johnny Kauko, we all know he's a workhorse in the middle of the park. He along with David Williams were seamless, they were efficient and they were effective at the same time. So what did I expect from the national team? I expected some more fluid movement up top. Yes, there were a lot of youngsters, but it could have been a very different complexion to the match if India had taken their chances. And this is where I feel that, you know, we just cannot rely on Sunil Chetri. Yes, he's the legend of the game in India, 
however if you are talking about scoring goals somebody else has to take the mantle from the talisman himself and if that has to happen we have to scout young players i have already said that there are loads of strikers who are already part of the indian national team why does he not give game time because sunil chetri is still playing and as long as he is playing we are guaranteed goals at the same time igor team match has to look at the long picture this is how any national team can be successful the supply chain the production line of young players has to be a continuous process if it is if it is stagnant and if we rely only on one player to score goals i don't know what will happen during the qualifiers and steam match was so confident even in the previous press conference he said that india is one of the strongest teams in the group and we have a very good chance to qualify well this was not the perfect start to the preparation leading up to the qualifiers a win could have instilled that sense of confidence to the national team but i just feel that over balance of play atk mohan bagan deserved to win because they were exploiting the back line they were utilizing their strengths and stretching the game and taking the game to the indian national team well it is a disappointing start but i am sure that india can find a way at least if they register a win against the all stars of the i league i am expecting them to be much more solid at the back and players like glen martins have to start in midfield because he gives you that kind of athleticism even with anirudh thapa you know that he will drive forward and be the deep lying midfielder so there are so many things with igor stimach has to work upon he has to look at the complete picture and he has to feel the strongest possible 11 come june 8th well i just cannot wait for the asian cup qualifiers but i just feel that you know igor stimach has missed the trick in this match however he has a chance to redeem himself hopefully he gets it right in the second practice match and we will be really excited if he at least gets a win so guys please let me know what are your thoughts about igor stimach where does he get it wrong and who do you think was the key player in this match between atk mohan bagan and the blue tigers please put in your thoughts in the comment section and if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button and share it amongst your friends and network and this is the way football goes every week you have matches every week you have thrills and spills so for loads of content coming your way please stay tuned and subscribe to the football mania so until next time stay safe and take care